All right, guys. Today's test drive is going to be in a 1973 Plymouth Duster. She's right here. We're going to go ahead and do a cold start. Haven't started it at all today. And then I'll pull her back here and get her wiped off. And we'll take off on this test drive. See if I can get in here. All right. There's a switch under here that cuts the ignition on and off. The ignition itself uh, doesn't actually cut the car off, but it does turn the starter over, so. She starts up easy when she's cold. Choke works good. Horn does not work. Try her defrost. Oh yeah. Choke kicked out. What's up guys, welcome back to Maple Motors. Today we're gonna go around a 1973 Plymouth Duster. This is a 340 car with a 340 motor. Very clean engine bay, very clean car. I wanna take a test drive, take off down the road, point out any kind of flaws, that way you know exactly what kind of car it is before you get here. We are a dealership about 15 minutes north of Nashville, Tennessee. That's Hendersonville, Tennessee. You can check our website out, maplemotors.com. We got 100 detailed photos of this car inside, out, and underneath. There's financing options available, so yes, you can get finance on any of these old classic cars. We have transportation options available as well. We ship these cars straight to your door, and we ship all over the world. All right, guys, it's test drive time. Let's go. Before we take off, look around the interior. You can see there's a little bit of scarring going on on the door panel. I'm missing some trim. Uh, I'll try the horn. Horn doesn't work. I couldn't get the air to work, the radio work, or the windshield wipers to work. Uh, the lights, most of the gauges do come up. We'll see if the temp gauge comes up on the drive. Just peeking around the car a little bit more. That door panel over here looks better, but still missing some trim. Interior's not too bad. Carpet doesn't look bad at all. Headliner's sagging a little bit in the back here. Needs to be pinned up. Let's start it up. You gotta flip the switch down here, cuts the ignition on. As soon as you turn it, starts up. Full pressure's coming up. We'll check that temp gauge as we ride, and let's do just that. We're gonna take off, guys. Shut my door, look around. You got seat belts in here, we're gonna wear it. I do believe the gas gauge works. It's showing about half a tank. We'll watch that and I'll make sure it floats around to be sure. But our alternator gauge is coming up over here as well. Make sure I put her in drive. Neutral's right here. And yes, that did happen again. I don't know if my suction mounts are just not doing too good, but hopefully you don't fall on me again. All right, notice this window's not rolling all the way up. It may be a little bit off track. We're probably gonna get a little wind noise. Let me put it in drive. All right, here we go, guys. Speedometer's not coming up on this one. Steering's 
got a little bit of slack in it. You can see it's not turning. It's going straight down the road like that. About there it turns and there it turns. Peak down tucked up. Felt like a little flat spot in the car, but I'm going to keep driving it a little bit because it's got a nice holly sitting on there. See that flat spot right there? You get right past it, it takes off. Check my brakes. Brakes are nice in this car. They stop good. The gas gauge is floating around, so I do believe it works. A little flat spot there again. Get past it. The car must have been sitting a little while because that carburetor looks pretty new to me. Had to get some gunk built up in it. Maybe they were running regular gas instead of the non-ethanol. See that? It starts pulling out of it. come to a stop fast so the brakes are nice our temperature still hasn't came up on the water i don't know if the gauges are hooked up or not feels like the wires are running out the back there so was a little bit off track so that's gonna have to be fixed but I went ahead and pushed it forward rolled it up and it went right into place sealed up good so we won't have any wind noise I want to go ahead and stick y'all up here and put you in the driver's seat got y'all set up in the driver's seat this car does not have power steering meaning if you're sitting still it's a little bit tougher to turn if you get to rolling a little bit it's a lot easier to turn I'll show you here in just a second after this car passes. Yeah, you get to rolling a little bit. Look how easy that is. You do it with one hand. If you're sitting still with non-power -power steering car, you're not hardly turning that wheel at all. It's just got a long gear there. It's shifting in the same spot every single time as it revs up. great on this one still got a little bit of a hesitation before it takes off turn signals clicking I don't see any indication on the dash but I do hear it right on this road about halfway up there is a uh, bump we're gonna hit it check the suspension that flat spot still in the car there here's the bump in the road suspension is not bad at all on this one
going back to the lot now. A little bit of an open road here. Guys, hopefully I helped y'all uh, out on your decision on this car. I try to describe everything that I can and it, as I see it, we're, not, we're up here at Maple Motors. We don't hide nothing, if you can tell from this video. We'd rather you know everything about it before you get here. We have a lot of people come from out of state and that's just how we do business, so. I'm getting ready to do a walk around on the outside of the car. I wanna point out all the flaws. It's a separate video from this one. All you have to do is type in 1973 Duster Maple Motors. Uh, I'm starting to put the stock numbers in all the videos because we're getting so many videos out there and we get a lot of, you know, Dusters, Camaros, Mustangs, and it's starting to, you know, add up on all the videos. And I'm also marking sold on all the old, old videos that have sold. Uh, I appreciate y'all watching and thanks again, guys. If you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. I post videos like this every single day. You can also go to maplemotors.com for 100 detailed pictures, a brief description, financing information, and transportation options. I appreciate y'all watching, and thanks again, guys.